hello hello it is none other than i goldie games back at you today with another video on why the sr system is completely balked so before we look at what's wrong with sr and mmr let's actually understand what they are MMR is an internal number associated with each player that essentially scores the player's ability. The game uses MMR to create matches based on players of similar ability. In other words, similar MMR. No one actually knows what an MMR looks like, but the general suggestion from the developers is that MMR is not a value that can be displayed and readily understood by the players. What we can extrapolate from that is that it's likely it's a coded value or possibly several values. SR, however, is actually the developer's way of converting MMR into a value that can be understood and compared by players. It's important to note though the MMR and SR are not directly linked. A common misconception players have is that the placement matches determine your starting SR. Uh, this is only really partially true. Before you have even commenced your placement matches, the game uses your MMR to make a rough estimation of your SR. The placement matches then simply refine the game's estimation up or down based on the outcome of your placement matches. My view is that MMR is the biggest factor in determining your initial SR, and then the placement matches are essentially fine tuning that. If this is all sounding weird, then think about this. How is that that there are documented cases of players hitting level 25, losing all placement matches and still earning a Master or Grandmaster SR? There are other cases of couples that play together exclusively, yet after placement have a very different SR from each other. So now that we know what MMR and SR actually are, let's look at what is wrong with the system. As you play more and more Overwatch, you naturally get better and your MMR should reflect this. But the problem is that for many players, it just does not. One reason why this is the case is that for some players, it takes a little longer than others to hit that next milestone and ability. So in doing so, players build up a lengthy history of average game ability before they improve. Once the player has improved, in order for this improvement to be reflected in the player's MMR, the player must then complete in a large volume of matches for this improvement to be reflected in the MMR. This is an issue I'm going to call MMR loot. Again, there have been document cases to support this assertion. Players experiencing MMR bloat have purchased new Overwatch accounts, leveled up to 25, completed placement and found that they are placed a thousand points ahead of their old account. The next question is, how do you fix the situation? My view is that the game simply stores the stats of your last 100 matches and your MMR is determined dynamically based on these stats. As you complete new matches, the stats for your oldest matches roll out. This naturally keeps your MMR fresh and an accurate representation of how you're performing right now. So what do you guys think? So friends, please leave me a comment down below with your thoughts on the matter. I think this needs to be reviewed very quickly. I think it's more important than the current uh, issue of cosmetic loot boxes, which, you know, to be frank, I think should never be put in the game to begin with. All right, fam, it is Goldie out for now. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make new videos daily. Thanks for now, guys. Bye. Goldie out. Bye, bye, bye. Bye.